Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Let me say good Garvey Day in Black August to my continental Africans, my Ghanaian Africans, my South Africans, my Liberian Africans, my Togolese Africans, my Zambian Africans, my Botswana Africans, my Eswatini Africans, my Mozambique Africans, my Angolan Africans, my Sudanese Africans, my South Sudanese Africans, my Ethiopian Africans, my Eritrean Africans, my Malawian Africans, my Zimbabwe Africans, peace and Pan-Africanism in Black August to my continental Africans, peace and Pan-Africanism in Black August to my Africans of Australia, my Africans from the South Pacific, my Africans in Asia, Peace and Pan-Africanism and happy Black August to my European Africans, my British Africans, my French Africans, my Scottish Africans, my Irish Africans, all of my Africans across Europe, my Toronto Africans, my Nova Scotia Africans, my Montreal Africans, my Jamaican Africans, my Costa Rican Africans, my Panamanian Africans, my ba Bahamian and Bermudian, my Turks and Caicos, my Haitian Africans, peace and Pan-Africanism too. My Texas Africans, my Pennsylvania Africans, my Ohio Africans, my Illinois Africans, my California Africans, my Phoenix Africans, my Alabama Africans, my Arkansas Africans, my Mississippi and Tennessee and Kentucky Africans, my Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island Africans, my DC, Maryland and Virginia Africans. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism, 45th anniversary of Black August. Oh yes, to commemorate the most revolutionary month in the American African calendar. Brothers and sisters, I am here in Michigan. My Detroit Africans, I am here. My Ypsilanti Africans, I am here. My Big Rapids, Michigan Africans, I am here. My Grand Rapids, Michigan, Muskegon, Inkster, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, Highland Park. The Prince of Pan-Africanism is here. I wanna see everybody tomorrow and Saturday. I want to see everybody tomorrow and Saturday. I'm going to get into the presidential race in a minute. I want to see everybody in Michigan, Ohio, come on over. Illinois, come on over. St. Louis, come on over. Canada, come on down. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's a Black August Black Power Party. I said we having a Black August Black Power Party. I said we having a Black August Black Black Power Party at Eastern Michigan University. Eastern Michigan University. If you have not registered, if you have not registered, it's completely free, Africans. It's about a struggle, not a hustle. The conference is completely free, but you must register. You need to call 734-802-807. Eight zero seven two. You need to call seven three four eight zero two eight zero seven two. You need to call seven three four eight zero two eight zero seven two. Or you need to email K Dixon at emish dot edu. That is K Dixon at emish dot edu. That is K as in Coon. D as in dedicated, I as in independence, X as in Malcolm X, S as in serious, O as in oppressor, N as in nationalism. I'm going to say it again. That is K as in coon, D as in dedicated, I as in independence, X as in Malcolm X, O as in oppressor, N as in nationalism, at E. E as in eternity, N as in Marcus Garvey, I as in independence, C as in Kuhn, and H as in self-help. So you have K-D-I-X-S-O-N. That is K-D-I-X-S-O-N at E-M-I-C-H at E-M-I-C-H dot E 
D-U. Now, before I go further, because I have to run out to Inkster tonight for a podcast interview. I have to run out to Inkster tonight. Where my Inkster Michigan Africans at? I might slide by Mama Nandy's Cafe in Highland Park. Got to get some of that fish and wings at Mama Nandy's Cafe in Highland Park. Hit the cash app, brothers and sisters. Help us finish up the school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app right now. Hit the cash app for Black August. Hit the cash app for Black August, dollar sign FDMG school. Go to the website. You could click on the donation link there. For my PayPal Africans, hit paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy or cash.me slash FDMG School. Cash.me dollar sign FDMG School. Hit the cash app FDMG School. Hit the PayPal FDMG Academy. Now, I have some not so good news for my British Africans, my UK family, my Costa Rica family. I got some not so good news. The Department of State has not yet released my passport and they're not giving me a reason why they have not released my passport. We went through this with Toronto last month. We went through this with Toronto last month. I thought everything was cleared. And it was time for me to pick up my passport. And they're telling me that they have a new block on my passport, but they don't know what it is. Has anyone ever heard of a block on your passport, but they don't know what it is? So my London Africans, I'm going to keep on fighting tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, while I'm at the Brendan Depper sentencing hearing in Bunnell, Florida. I hope all my Florida Africans will join me at 8 a.m. on Tuesday at the Kim C. Hammond Criminal Justice Center in Bunnell, Florida for the Brendan Depper hearing. God willing and ancestor supporting, I will be there. But I'm still going to be on the phone down there. I'm going to get back to Philly on Wednesday and hopefully before I fly to London Thursday evening. We're going to hope that before I fly to London Thursday evening, my passport will be released. They're not giving me any reason. They're giving me the runaround. There's no reason for them to be holding on to my passport. This doesn't make any sense, brothers and sisters. So we are trying to get my passport released so I can be with my London family on August 10th and 11th. So I could be with my London family on August 10th and 11th. And my Costa Rica family, I'm supposed to be with you for Garvey Day. My Jamaica Africans, Irie FM never got back to me, so I don't think they want Dr. Umar coming in for only one day. They wanted Dr. Umar for three days in Jamaica for the Garvey Day, so I will have to see my Jamaican Africans next summer, God willing and ancestor supporting for the Garvey Day. So Costa Rica, we pushing. London, we pushing. I don't know if it's the FBI. I don't know if it's Homeland Security. I don't know if it's the CIA, but they did the same nonsense to the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. They did the same nonsense to the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey, stopping us from going across the world to preach the gospel of Pan-Africanism in racial solidarity. So put me in your prayers that the passport will be freed up so I do not miss my London engagement And so I do not miss my Costa Rica engagement. It's not the IRS family. The IRS has does not have any hold on my passport. It's not the IRS. I don't owe any child support. So it's not the IRS. It's not child support. All that's been taken care of. And they're not telling me why they're not releasing my passport. If we got any Africans who work for the passport agencies, please try to help your brother out. If we got any Africans out there who work for the passport agencies, please try to help your brother out. If we got any Africans in America who work for the U.S. Passport Department of State, please try to work your brother out. Help me out with the passport. I don't want to miss my London Africans. I don't want to miss my Central American Africans in Costa Rica for Garvey Day. If you can help me out, text my phone. 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858. Two one five nine eight nine nine eight five eight. 
215-215-9899. If you work for the passport agency, please put my name in there and find out why they're not giving me my passport. If you work for the passport agency, I need you to work for your brother now. I need you to work for your brother. Okay, why? We have to free Ifa Tunde's passport. Hashtag free Ifa Tunde's passport. If you can help me out, text my phone 215 215-989-989-958. 215-989-989-958. So tomorrow, we are at Eastern Michigan University for the Black Consciousness Conference, kicking off Black August. Tomorrow, we will be at the Student Center Building, 900 Oakwood Street. Tomorrow, we will be at the Student Center Building, 900 Oakwood Street. Saturday, we will be at Honors College, 511 West Forest Avenue. I repeat, I repeat, grab your pencil, screenshot the announcement. Tomorrow at Eastern Michigan University's Black Consciousness Conference, we will be at the Student Center Building, 900 Oakwood Street. And on Saturday, we will be at Honors College, 511 West Forest Avenue. Again, if you have not registered or RSVP'd, if you have not registered or RSVP'd, 734-802-8092. 8072, excuse me, 734 802 8072-734-802-8072. K Dixon at emish.edu. That is K for Coon, D for dedicated, I for independence, X for Malcolm X, S for serious, O for oppressor, N for nationalist, at E for eternity, M for Marcus Garvey, I for independence, C for Coon, H for self help.edu, brothers and sisters. So now. So now, so now, let me say this. We have some contradictions that we have to expose in the black community. And we have some contradictions we have to expose within the Caucasian power structure. We have to deal with contradictions. We have to deal with contradictions. We have to deal with contradictions. Now, before I get into these contradictions, I want to encourage all of you to join me, not only here in Eastern Michigan University, not only here in Ypsilanti at Eastern Michigan University this weekend. I want to see you tomorrow and Saturday, of course, but I want to see you Tuesday. Who's coming out to stand with me to support our young brother, Brendan Depper, to fight for him so he don't get 30 years in jail for smacking up the snow bunny? Who's coming to the Kim C. Hammond Criminal Justice Center in Boonell, Florida, this Tuesday, 8 o'clock in the morning. Get there at 7 a.m., brothers and sisters. The hearing starts at 8. Once the courtroom is filled, they're not going to let anybody else in. Get there at 7 o'clock, brothers and sisters. Please get to the Kim C. Hammond Criminal Justice Center in Boonell, Florida, this Tuesday, August the 6th. I need you there at 7 a.m. The hearing starts at 8. I want to see nothing but melanin in the courtroom. Alpha males, alpha males, you need to be there to support our brother. Brendan Depper was also born in Black August. Brendan Depper was also born in Black August. Brendan Depper was also born in Black August. His birthday is the day after mine. That's right. I'm August the 21st, Leo. Brendan Depper is August the 22nd, Leo. The Prince of Pan-Africanism is August the 21st, Leo. Brendan Depper is August the 22nd, Leo. Sister Suki Hana says she might show support for Brendan Depper at the hearing on Tuesday. She does have some other obligations, but if she can get free, the good sister says she's going to come and stand with us. She's going to come and support Brendan Depper in trying to get the sentence overturned, reduction of sentence. We need y'all in the building. We need y'all in the building. We need y'all in the building. Okay, let me double check. Tuesday, what date is Tuesday, family? Tuesday, August the 6th, 8 a.m. at the Kim C. Hammond Criminal Justice Center, 1769 East Moody Boulevard. 1769 East Moody Boulevard. 1769 
East Moody Boulevard, the Kim C. Hammond Criminal Justice Center, Tuesday, August the 6th. The hearing begins at 8. Please be there at 7. Please be there at 7. I want the courtroom filled with African energy. I want the courtroom filled with African energy. Orlando, Florida, are you going to show up? Miami, are you going to show up? Fort Lauderdale, are you going to show up? Tallahassee, Tampa, are you going to show up for our brother, Brendan Depper? Who's showing up, brothers and sisters? And after we come from the hearing, we're going to have a family dinner. And I'm going to get on back to Jacksonville and fly back to Philly to fight for my passport. I said, we're going to support Brendan Depper. And then we're going to go have a family dinner in Boonell, Florida. And then I'm going to get on back to Jacksonville and fly on back to Philadelphia so I can try to get my passport so I can go to London, England, brothers and sisters. We got the Black Consciousness Conference at Eastern Michigan University tomorrow and Saturday from 3 to 7. We got the Brendan Depper protest in Boonell, Florida, Tuesday, August the 6th at 8 a.m. We got Black London, England, United Kingdom, Manchester, Liverpool, Wolverhampton. We are in the building, Brixton. King Kong is coming. We're going to get the passport. We got to get the passport, brothers and sisters. And then when I come back from London, Costa Rica, where you at? Where my Central American Africans at? Where my cent I want to see all my Central American Africans in Costa Rica for the Marcus Garvey birthday celebration, August the 17th, August the 18th, August the 16th. I said August the 16th, August the 17th, and August the 18th. Any of my American Africans want to fly on down to Costa Rica to celebrate? Be my guest. Any of my American Africans want to come on down to Costa Rica? Get you a flight and come on down. Get you a flight and come on down, brothers and sisters. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And then, of course, and then, of course, we got the Nat Turner celebration. Make sure you get your tickets at natturnerlibrary.com. August the 21st, we celebrating the greatest revolution in American history. We celebrating the Haitian revolution. We celebrating the George Jackson prison revolution. We celebrating Emmett Till. We celebrating Fannie Lou Hamer who showed up in Atlantic City on August the 21st. Emmett Till showed up in Money, Mississippi on August the 21st. Black Jesus, the Christ of Ethiopia, was born on August the 21st. King Kong consciousness, the prince of Pan-Africanism, August the 21st. And then on August the 30th, I'm going to be with my big brother, Chairman Fred Hampton. On August the 30th, I'm going to be with my big brother, Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. for the Fred Hampton Memorial Block Party. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, brothers and sisters. It's a Black August grand finale with Chairman Fred Hampton Jr., Chicago, Illinois, the Fred Hampton Senior Memorial Block Party. That's going to be the grand finale for Black August. Nat Turner on August the 21st is going to be the grand finale for Leo season. Where my Leo's at? Where my Leo's at? Where my Leo's at? Where my Black August birthdays, even if you're not a Leo, whether you're a Leo or a Virgo, where my Black August people at? Where my born in Black August Africans at? Where my born in Black August Africans on the continent? Where my born in Black August Africans in the Caribbean? Where my born in Black August Africans in Australia? Where my born in Black August Africans in Europe? Where's my born in Black August Africans in Canada? Where's my born in Black August Africans in the United States, in Texas, in New York, in Florida, in Minnesota, in Seattle, in Portland, in Arizona, in Albuquerque, New Mexico? Where my born in Black August Africans? And where my Leo season Africans at? Where my Leo season Africans at? So let's get into this. I can't be too long. I got an interview tonight. I can't be too long. I got to interview an inkster. A late interview starting at 11. I got a late interview in Inkster, Michigan. Starting at 11 o'clock. I got to slide through Mama Nandy's for some wings and fish. I got to slide through Mama Nandy's for some wings and fish Let's deal with the contradictions. First of all, I want to deal with this Drake Kamala Harris contradiction. I want to deal with this Drake Kamala Harris contradiction. I want to deal with this Drake Kamala Harris contradiction. What do I mean by the Drake Kamala Harris contradiction? I don't know my brother Drake. I don't know if he has denied his Africanity. 
I don't know if he disidentifies from his Africanity. I don't know. Word on the street is he does not identify as an African. Allegedly, allegedly, he does not identify as an African. Here's my question to all the American African Democratic Party plantation slaves. Here's my question to all of the American African Democratic Party plantation slaves. Here's my question to all the American African Democratic Party plantation slaves. How can you have a problem with Drake not claiming to be African, but you out here raising money and caping for Kamala Harris, who also is only black when it is convenient? I want to expose the contradictions tonight. Who's standing with Dr. Umar tonight? Who's standing with the Prince of Pan-Africanism tonight? Who's standing with the most requested black scholar 14 years in a row? Who's standing with the number one Pan-Africanist? Who's standing with the number one school psychologist of all time? I'm going to express the contradiction. I'm going to expose the contradiction. How can you be ready to cancel Drake? Allegedly, for only being black, allegedly, when it benefits Drake. But you're not ready to cancel Kamala Harris when she's only black when it benefits her. That's a contradiction. That's a contradiction. That's a contradiction. How can Drake be wrong for only being black allegedly when it benefits him? But Kamala Harris is not wrong for only being black during the election season. If Drake is wrong for only being occasionally black then Kamala Harris is equally as wrong for only being occasionally black. Or do we have some kind of feminist privilege? Or do we have a radical black feminist privilege operating in our community? Or do we have a radical black feminist privilege operating in our community? Because I'm trying to understand how Drake gets canceled for being a part-time African. How Drake gets canceled allegedly for being a part-time African, but Kamala Harris doesn't get canceled for being a part-time African. That's contradiction number one. That's contradiction number one. I've seen multiple clips of Kamala Harris identifying as South Asian, never clarifying that she's also an American African or Caribbean African. I've seen multiple clips of her claiming to be South Asian and East Indian but rarely do I see her claiming to be American African or Caribbean African or Jamaican African. That is a contradiction. That is a contradiction. Let me deal with another contradiction. Y'all say that y'all can't trust mixed race Africans. Y'all say y'all can't trust mixed race Africans. Some of you say that mixed race Africans are not black. Of course, I completely disagree with you morons, but some of you say that mixed race Africans are not black. Of course, I completely disagree with you morons, but here's my question. Here's my question to the Democratic Party plantation slaves of America. If you don't trust mixed race Africans, why are you caping for Kamala Harris? Let me ask that question again. You said you don't trust mixed race Africans and you said mixed race Africans are not black. So if you don't trust mixed race Africans and if mixed race Africans are not black, why are you caping for Kamala Harris? Help me understand you're raising millions of dollars for a mixed race part time African, but you claim they're not black, but you're calling Kamala Harris black. Please make it make sense. Can somebody make it make sense to me? I need one of you Democratic Party plantation slaves to explain to me how, on the one hand, mixed race Africans are not black. But you're calling Kamala Harris a black candidate for president. You just said mixed race Africans are not black, but you are calling Kamala Harris. Harris, a black candidate for president. You can't make this up. We're going to expose all the contradictions tonight. We're going to expose all the contradictions. Do we have any soul food restaurants in Inkster, Michigan? Do we have any soul food restaurants open tonight in Insta, Michigan? Do we have any soul food restaurants open tonight 
in Inkster, Michigan. Because after the podcast, Big Papa going to be hungry. After the podcast, Big Papa going to be hungry. Or will one of my Detroit queens prepare some Southern cuisine for King Kong? Will one of my Detroit queens prepare some Southern cuisine for King Kong? I said, will one of my Detroit queens prepare some Southern cuisine for King Kong? But let me hit you with this. Contradiction number three. Contra I'm not in Philly, my family. I'm in Ypsilanti, Michigan. I'm at Eastern Michigan University, my brother. Pay attention now. Pay attention now. Listening comprehension disability. Listening comprehension disability. Listening comprehension disability. Contradiction number three. Can we deal with this National Association of Black Journalists panel discussion with Donald Trump? Can we please deal with that ridiculous? Can we deal with that ridiculous black feminist National Association of Black Journalists panel discussion with Donald Trump. Let me expose the contradiction. First of all, I love all three of my beautiful black sisters. I love all three of my beautiful black sisters. Let me just say that right from the start. Let me say that right from the start. Now y'all wore red, white, and blue or red, blue, and black. Why didn't y'all wear red, black, and green? To my three sisters who interviewed Donald Trump, I see y'all wore the American flag. One of y'all had on red, I believe. One of y'all had on blue, and I believe one of y'all had on black. But why didn't you wear the red, black, and green? Why did you represent the flag of African people? Why did you represent the flag of your oppressor? But that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. Here's my question to my three beautiful sisters who interrogated Donald Trump the other day. Here's my question to my three beautiful queens who interrogated Donald Trump the other day on behalf of the National Association of Black Journalists. And I only got one question for you, sisters. I only got one question for you, sisters. I only got one question for you, sisters. Why did you not see fit to have a single black man represented on that panel? Y'all claim that black men don't want to support you. You claim that you have to do it all by yourself. You claim black masculinity is at an all time low. But at the same time, you didn't represent no black men on that panel. Three women and Donald Trump make it make sense. I'm not saying black women are not competent. My sisters are competent. My sisters are intelligent. My sisters are capable. My sisters are worthy. This is not a denigration of the divine African female principle. That's not what this is about. This is not a repudiation of black femininity. I'm talking about balance. As African people, we believe in balance. As African people, we believe in balance. Why was there no gender balance on that conversation panel with Donald Trump. Why was there no gender balance on that panel discussion with Donald Trump? I'm simply asking a question. I'm simply asking a question. Black men will ask different questions than black women because women are not men and men are not women. And if there was three brothers on the panel, I would have asked them, why was there no sister? If there were three brothers on the panel, I would have asked them, why were there no sisters represented on the panel discussion conversation with former President Donald Trump? We got to stop moving out in an imbalanced fashion. If you have an imbalanced approach, you're going to have an imbalanced solution. If you have imbalanced tactic, you're going to have an imbalanced communication. You're going to have an imbalanced community. Black women. Don't go nowhere without your men. Black men, don't go nowhere without your women. United we stand, divided we fall. I said united we stand, divided we fall. That's why I take pictures with African women. That's why I take pictures at my events with my African queens. I'm going to take 100 pictures tomorrow at Eastern Michigan University with my voluptuous, my beautiful African queens of Flint in Muskegon, in Big Rapids, in Inkster, in Highland Park, in Detroit, in Ann Arbor, in Ypsilanti. I'm going to take pictures with all my beautiful African sisters in Michigan this weekend because I'm showing the balance. 
I'm showing the love and the appreciation for the great divine feminine. And I need the great divine feminine to show love and appreciation for the great divine